Welcome to the new virtual studios of the Elder's Pulpit. It is my hope that from these studios, I will be able to record for you many informative and uplifting episodes. On this week's Elder's Pulpit Thought for the Week, I would like to share with you something from a book I received in the mail from Elder Vilma Wilshire. The book is titled, I Didn't Sign Up for This, Navigating Through Life's Detours by Aaron Sharp. The book offers insights from the life and times of the prophet Elijah to encourage readers who have suddenly veered off the road into a wilderness experience. Without the least bit of notice, life can take a sudden turn down a road we never anticipated or never would have chosen to travel. We are all going to have times of wilderness in our lives, times that will test our faith, our hope, and our strength. On a squash court just like this one, at almost this very spot on the court, my life veered off course. I tore my Achilles tendon. When I signed up for the court, I did not sign up for months of my foot being in a boot and having to use crutches, months off work, months away from church, months of physical therapy. No, I did not sign up for this. My life veered off course. Perhaps your detour happens to be a crippling injury. It could be an unexpected medical report, a work or school related issue, a family problem, the death of a loved one. The list goes on and on. Life as we know it is known to throw nasty surprises at us, particularly when we are least prepared for them. Chapter 7 of the book, I Didn't Sign Up For This, gives us four keys to dealing with life's detours. Number one, maintain a balanced perspective. When on a detour, our perspective can become cloudy and unbalanced. For me, it is at times difficult for me to imagine being healthy and vibrant again. If you're unemployed, it might be difficult to visualize ever finding a job. Being on a detour consumes us and often does not allow us to see beyond our current situation. However, we must struggle to maintain a balanced perspective. Number two, retrace your steps. Remembering where we have come from helps us to maintain a balanced perspective. The saying goes, the bend in the road is not the end of the road unless we fail to make the turn. On a detour, instead of asking, why did God allow this to happen to me? Let's make the turn and ask, what is God trying to teach me through this detour? Retracing our steps can help us remember that with God, even the most negative of circumstances can have positive outcomes. Number three, seek out good advisors. Another key to maintaining a balanced perspective is to have good relationships with people who can help us navigate through our detours. Our perspective may lead us to believe God does not care and there is no hope, but quality relationships can help us see our perspective is leading us to a wrong conclusion. On a detour, we must resist the urge to isolate ourselves and go it alone and surround ourselves with a few good advisors. And lastly, number four, avoid making major decisions or changes. Often we prolong our detours and miss what God is trying to teach us because we are so busy trying to make changes and adjustments and trying to get back on our intended course. We must remember that while on a detour, we may have a faulty perspective and to base our decisions and to make major changes on this faulty perspective may do more harm than good. Eventually, we may have to make some changes. But while struggling through a detour, it may not be the best time to do so. These four keys have helped me as I struggle through 
my detour. It is my prayer that these keys will aid, inspire, and encourage someone else out there who is on one of life's detours. You can find a free sample chapter of the book, I Did Not Sign Up For This, by following the link I will place in the description to this video. Please feel free to share this video. Thank you for watching The Elder's Pulpit. Have a blessed week.